Chelsea vs Wolves at the Molyneux, one of my favourite games from the season because as I'm sure most of you already know, we did end up winning this game 5-2, so Frank came in with like a pretty standard 11, you had um, most notably Vicar Tamori in the defence, you had Alonso, had William, you had Tammy Abraham and there's the man himself, Super Frankie Lampard. Little did we know what was going to come on later in the season at that time, but oh boy, it was one hell of a ride. So, that man right there, hugging Jorginho Tomori, he didn't know what was going to happen in this game, but it was one of his, I think that was the game that pretty much brought him onto centre stage for most of Chelsea fans. So, it's at the morning new stadium, I think 3pm kickoff, and then we kick off and then things get ongoing. Now, Mason passes the ball to Tomori, and my guy absolutely fires the ball into the top left corner. And he did not believe that himself, and nobody expected that. I remember seeing that call. And when I saw it, I was just left completely speechless. It was such an amazing goal from the young centre-back. And then now he passes this ball to Tammy, and Tammy gets on the turn, and then scores a fantastic goal. What a beautiful turn that is. And that was one of his first goals, I think. That was his first goal for Chelsea. No, 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 no. It was one of his um, good goals, though. Now we have William here trying to get... I don't know what the hell he was trying there. I'm not a big fan of him, but, well, he tried his best, I guess. Tomori making his impact known. And Lampard seems relatively impressed at this point. Now we have Kepa, who's had been a case of a lot of slander this season. And then he's lofted the ball forward. And then over there, we had some really good defensive work from Rudiger, the hustle merchant. Look at him. Let's look at him. Boy, oh, it's so good. So good. Now, over here, we have one of the Wolves players getting dispossessed. And then over the match, I wasn't pretty too sure. like, Because, you know, the end of this game was actually 5-2. And it was one of those games where I wasn't really in doubt that we we're going to end up winning. Because uh, when you have someone like Tammy scoring a hat-trick in this game as well with all sorts of different goals, like, because I know that his hat-trick was a left foot, his header and a right foot as well. And if you ask me, my favourite of the goals has to be his third goal because his goal was like, oh, was just simply amazing to be very honest. The way he took it on and then went past the two defenders and then caught it. We're going to see that as he comes up very shortly. But this is one of those games that I thoroughly enjoyed and... As time went on, I just knew that this Chelsea team would probably end up... Now, this is the goal I was talking about. Look at that. Just have a look at that skill over there. Boom. Clinical. Nicely done. This man is one of the kids for the future, man. Genuinely, he's 22 years old. I believe he needs to have someone that could actually come up and uh, make him work a bit harder. He works really hard, but no... All the added um, competition wouldn't... It wouldn't, it wouldn't kill anybody. I have Michi. I don't know what my man is trying there. I think he's uh, finished at this club, but it is what it is. And then, obviously, lastly, we have my boy, Mason Mount. Take a look at that. My guy slots it calmly into the bottom right corner. Look at the excitement on his face. Little did they all know at that point in time what was going to become at the start of the season. But, yeah, it ends 5-2 at the Molyneux. Look at Frank hugging Tammy. Tammy with his first match ball for Chelsea. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.